Right. That one guy is, is it. There it is. There it is. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's, that's it. Oh my goodness, that's a... Now let's is. see what it, way it's laying. Yeah. Yeah, we're just looking. Pan a little to the right, see if we see a, a bow or something. Sort of spin. I mean the vehicle, not the, <laughs> not the camera. Is but that the conning tower there or no? Look at that big guy coming yeah, out. Yeah, there's a big uh, grouper. Grouper coming out. Look at us. Hey. So I wonder if he speaks German. <laughs> <laughs> I love the ribbing up there. See the ribbing? So Jack is writing in that if we go along the bow, um, along the sub's bottom on the port side is the you Balkan Great Hydrophone used for detecting the sound of ship's propellers. Push in another three feet or something. That's what I haven't wanted to see is a lion, lionfish right there. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen one of you. Yeah, there's one right there by that little square port uh, just to the right. Okay, oh. I see something good moving eye, in Billy. the water. Wow, yeah. good catch. Folks watching at home, this is the wreck of German nice U-boat, U-2513. In here. This, uh, this wreck has been here on the seafloor for... I'm um, sorry, since 1951, when it was sunk by the U.S. Navy in a series of exercises. Uh, ordered sunk by gunfire after six years in U.S. Naval service, after just uh, actually only about a few months in German service. Uh, On the bottom right, uh, they're saying that it that's the hydrophone. Yeah. Drop down a little. That's a nice shot. Just pirouette on a, that. We got a little bit of tech in there on her. But pirouette on that. Cut that out. That's what he wanted. Okay. Keep that up. Lateral left a little. A little more. Fish. That's nice. Keep that shot. That's a nice shot. Grab your stills on this. Yep. Frame grabbers. I got him. Don't do anything but rise up a meter. Um, exciting dive so far. Some really beautiful stuff as we got in close to the wreck. And we're about to uh, begin our high res mapping of it. Uh, the images we get from this will be totally stunning. They always are. Uh, um, All right. Bob, do you want to head uh, north? A couple clicks and just kind of settle over it. A couple of clicks? I'm uh, sorry. Not kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Just a um, I'm thinking like five to ten meters. Just, <laughs> just, just settle uh, just over the top of the yeah. ship. A few kilometers uh, north of the wreck might be a little, yeah. uh, little overkill. It's <laughs> not what I meant. Um, you guys know it. The ship was completely empty when it was sunk uh, of people um, and presumably any valuable technology unless the Navy is a... Uh, was a little more wasteful at the time. I can't confirm that, but um, <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't speculate like that. But it was free of people. There were no people on the wreck when it was sunk. It was sunk in uh, testing uh, exercises.